James Sweeney, NYFP for Société Générale. We first begin overseas with the major Asian Pacific markets having an uneven day for the most part this time with Japan's Nikkei 225 index closing down 1.45 percent. The major European markets today they have turned higher after a rough start led by London's FTSE index up about half a percent and U.S. stock futures they were pointing towards a higher open after the bell the Dow Jones on the upside a little more than 85 points. Now the European Union wide unemployment rate that in the month of June fell to a reading of 10.9 percent from 11 percent, its first decline since January 2011. The rate did drop in 17 of the 27 member states. Meanwhile, in Germany, retail sales unexpectedly falling 1.5 percent, its biggest one-month drop since December. And the second quarter GDP figures in the United States, they managed to beat expectations, coming in at a reading of 1.7 percent versus the 1 percent expected. And the ADP reported private companies added 200,000 jobs against 180,000 expected and their June figure was revised upward to 198,000 from 188,000 and core PCE inflation that fell to its second lowest level ever and later on at 2 p.m. we have the FOMC announcement the dollar meanwhile is climbing this morning on speculation the Fed will reassert its intention to taper asset purchases and Anthony Weiner's mayoral campaign today continues to melt down this after an aide called a former intern a lot of really nasty words <laughs> towards a memo reporter